Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you like to hear someone talk about cats, rats, dogs, and reptiles, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below. Um, if you notice, I'm in the old house. By the time this one gets listed on YouTube, I will probably be in the new house. So what I ended up doing was get tired, or got tired of only posting videos once a month, once every month and a half while we were in the process of doing getting this house ready to sell and the new house ready and all of that. We're kind of at a standstill right now. So every day I have filmed a different video and I have posted it and scheduled it to upload. So what's going to happen is we'll probably be like a month behind um, when we actually move, maybe a little bit longer. And uh, before you start seeing the moving the animal videos and things like that. So anyways, back to today's video. Um, it's actually one of the most requested videos I've had. For some reason, people love it when I talk about my rats on this channel. So Oreo and Suki are my rats. I've had them for an April 2021. It will be, they'll be three. So I've had them for quite a while now. Um, but people always want to see how I clean the rat cage, which is such a strange video to me, but sure, I'll show that to you today. I have time to do it. So uh, usually whenever I clean out the rat cage, it's on like a deep clean day and I just knock it out and move on. So today I've been a little lazy and I don't plan on deep cleaning anything because the house is pretty much clean right now because we're trying to sell it. So um, yeah, I will jump into cleaning this out for you guys and just show you little snippets of it. It probably will be a really choppy video. I don't edit these on anything. I like record them live, like record them raw and upload them raw. So <clears throat> I don't do any editing and stuff. I don't, I don't have time for that. I just like to talk about my animals and think people care. So anyways, what you need is some fleece for, this is the Critter Double Nation, a yard and a half of fleece that's already pre-cut from Walmart. Works great, it's the perfect amount of fleece for each of the little areas. I'll show you how I cut them. Um, this is not magnesium sulfate plus H2O. Uh, this was a water bottle I used to use when I gardened a lot. It is actually now white vinegar and water, and that's what I use as the deodorizer or the cleaning agent. Um, and then you need paper towels, and this week I grabbed just some Carefresh paper bedding. My husband grabbed it from the store. Um, so any paper bedding works, it usually just depends on what store I'm at, depends on what gets grabbed. My husband just brought this home from the store, so this is what he grabbed while he was out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will make one note, I do have extra hammocks and things, there's an extra bin. Um, if you watch the video where I did like a big rat haul video, um, you can see when I got this cage, you can see I had like a storage bin that I store underneath it, I still have that. I'm not going to change out all the hammocks that are hanging in here. I usually don't. I alternate. I leave one in there for two weeks. That way they still have their smell. So while I take everything out this week and I'm going to wash everything, I'm going to leave one of their old hammocks in there because everything that's getting put in there is brand new and I don't want to stress them out. I always leave something that still has their original smell on them. So it's usually a hammock, a lot of their toys, you know, um, as long as they're not like shredded to bits and need to be thrown out they do get those put back in there too but i do clean the majority of them some of them i don't because they're not really cleanable but um yeah we'll get into it so i'm going to show you guys what their cage looks like before i'll cut the video and then i'll do just a couple like pop-ins and tell you what i'm doing during the time i'm doing it okay so here is the before they, um, I take some of their old fleece or like extra fleece and I'll slice it up and like fill a basket with it or a hammock with it just so they have something to kind of play with a little extra. Um, and they like to tear it up and take it all over. It is kind of an empty cage right now, but please know that I'm adding and taking things out all the time. Um, and it kind of just depends on what goes in and what comes out depending on like how much they've used it and things like that. So here's the before and then I'll check in every now and then and do little snippets of what I'm doing at the time I'm doing it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the rats out and go pass them off to my daughter and she's going to rat sit for me while I clean out the cage and just keep an eye on them, give them some bonding time, some quality time outside of their cage. But here's Oreo and Suki. Okay, so here you can see I've removed some of the hammocks um, that were up here. I've already 
wiped this down with the white water vinegar and wiped it out. And then I just kind of re-secured it with some more shower rings. And um, this is just a basket from the Dollar Tree. And then these shower rings I actually got at Dollar Tree too. This right here, it's wooden, so I don't usually wipe it down. They crawl on it more than they pee or chew on it, so I usually just leave that one. These trays are super convenient. They just come out. Um, I use these binder clips to help secure the fleece. So I took those off, I set them up here. I usually work one shelf at a time. So I'm just going to take this off and shake it into the trash, which I've got a trash can just right here. Shake off their little poopies and you can see they get pretty dirty in only a week and then it goes into the dirty pile. This is a clean pile. Like I said, there's tons of other hammocks in here and there's some other fleece. Um, this fleece is kind of getting to the point where they've chewed it up so much. I'm going to need to look at that and see if I need to turn it into something else. But um, yeah, so those are the hammocks that I'll be putting back in here. Um, I'm probably going to leave that one. I've already pulled out the other hammocks that I wanted to take out. So anyways, then you've got this tray and all I'm going to do is spray it with the white water vinegar and then wipe that up and then I will show you how I'm going to cut the piece of new fleece to fit that one and how I secure it on there. Okay so this next part is super easy. I just take that tray out. I grab the fleece and then sorry this is going to be shaky. Basically, I throw the fleece over the top and then I cut around it. So, ignore my gross feet if you just saw them in the previous little bit of this. But, um, yeah, so the fleece is laid over the tray and then I'm just going to cut, like, here's the end of the tray. So, I'm going to cut, like, right here all the way around so it has room to fold over and then be clipped back down. And since there is another tray this exact same size, I'm going to take this piece that I just cut, lay it on top, and cut another piece this exact same size. Okay, so once I've got that done, it gets clipped onto the tray just with little binder clips on the corners. I do need to go grab more binder clips. I knew I was forgetting something at the store earlier because um, I need to be folding it over the sides and clipping it down there too. But the rats actually really, really enjoy climbing underneath the fleece sometimes and hiding their food under there. They get it from their forage bin and move their way up. So. Um, I'm just going to leave it right now. It's not crucial. Um, and then you just slip that and put it right back on place. And you do that with the rest of them. Okay, and as you can see back here behind me, I've got a couple more hammocks put up here. Um, their baskets fixed. This is staying. Little chews and stuff are staying. And uh, the top half is done, so I've got to move on to the bottom. I did cut this one a little short. And I did forget to get more binder clips. Normally I would uh, clip right here um, and cut it a little bit longer. But yeah, so I'm going to do that to the bottom half and check back in. So now I have this bottom half right here done. And um, another thing I want to note is that I did not take these out. I wash these every other week. They tend to not get as dirty as like the basic parts. I also have rinsed off any of their plastic toys. So these have been rinsed off. And then these, I don't clean. Um, I'm gonna stuff these with some treats and throw in here. The next step is to deal with the foraging bin. Okay, one of my animals just went crazy. So this is a week's worth of their foraging bin waste and whatnot. I'm just gonna dump this nastiness in the trash, spray it down, wipe it out, and replace it and this is basically their clean foraging bin so it's got the new bedding in there i've mixed in some food in there and a few toys and chews in there as well they do end up using this kind of like a litter box i never intentionally litter box train them um, but that's just how rats are but it's super important to have a foraging bin in your rat enclosure i feel like they spend so much of their waking time in here they'll drag anything else that they like in here as well Another important step whenever you are cleaning out the rat cage is to remember that rats do kind of pee outside of their cage sometimes. Normally we have a like opened up cardboard box 
that we sit underneath here and then we have one that we put up against the wall um since we've been like decluttering the house and everything to get it ready we don't have that in here right now but um just to kind of catch some of that pee so what i'm gonna do is every week when i clean this out i do like the full clean these are on wheels which are awesome we pull it from behind the wall i'm gonna sweep it up just use a white water vinegar um, and a paper towel and spray the wall behind it spray the floor and the back and sides of the cage which as you can see it's not like it's a ridiculous mess they're not like peeing all over the walls However, this is the pile that I swept up from underneath their cage. So it definitely does like accumulate some. One more note I will add is that I did also take out their water bottles and uh, clean them really, really well and then threw them back in. So it's really ready for the girls. I'm about to go get them for my kiddo and let them explore. Okay, so we've got Sookie and Oreo here and we're about to go let them explore their nice, clean home. Huh. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Here you go, girls. Here you go. They love it when it's nice and clean. And that is the video today. Sookie and Oreo, thank you for watching it all the way through. They're very appreciative of their nice, clean home. And I will probably film a DIY rat toy cage here pretty soon because even though their cage is nice and clean I do like for them to have a few more things than this in there to do and it's kind of like between I guess clutter days to say like I like to really clutter up their cage anyways so that'll probably be the next video I do you guys have a great night and thank you so much for watching